Barbara Stanwyck was in her 70s when she returned to television in Dynasty 2, The Colbys. I'm James Law Jr., your host. And I was watching scenes with her in them as Connie, Constance Connie Colby, I'll see, uh, on The Colbys. I just, first of all, one of the major things I thought about was um, her and Sable, of course, always at odds, the sisters-in-law, were always at odds. Sable felt that Constance was always a constant <laughs> presence in her life and her marriage with Jason. They have a famous scene when you talk about that, and she says, "You know, you marry, um, you marry Jason. You married a family." <laughs> and Sable's like, "You planted roots like in there, and have never left since." Um, there's always, my mother always said, sometimes when there's too many women in the house, things can happen. You know, women try to establish stuff in the house. And Sable felt so she was married to Jason. This was, she's the mistress of the house. Connie felt like this is the house of the Colby. She actually said that in that, another episode. It's the Colby house. When Jeff came to town, you know, that caused some issues on so many different levels, obviously. And that's a whole other show. But Constance was very much like he's a Colby. He belongs here in this home with us. It's this famous scene which tries to throw Jeff out, and Sable's like, "You're not going to win this time, Connie." Constance, and Jeff leaves, and I'll tell you, Barbara Stan Stanwyck has a look. She stares her down. She says, "Over my dead body," just like that. Barbara Stanley, of course, Big Valley, and other things she's done, movies of acting powerhouse. I always wonder if the show had continued, um, if if it had, or if what if it had become a hit, had you know the best, you know, the best writing and had really continued on its own, like the original Dynasty did. I wonder how much further she could have gone um, in in the role. The role was intriguing because. It was different than some of the other shows because it was a brother and sister who were at the head of this family and then all the people from that, which was different than having husband and wife head of family or husband and wife, ex-wife. I mean, it was, I mean, it was, just, it was just like the, the, the two, the main, two main Colby's were brother and sister, which, you know, sibling, you know, conflict, sibling, life, sibling, everything is very different than two people married or in love or in lust. It's a whole different story. Um, I always wish that the show would lasted longer. I felt like the show, again, I think it's just before another show, the Colby's could have been really, really good. Um, but and, it was, and there were parts of it that I didn't think that, that I thought were good. I wonder if it was just too soon. It was too much like Dynasty. It was too, it was too soon to, to associate it with it. I wonder if that, maybe that hurt it. I don't know. I mean, but Barbara Stanwyck was an acting powerhouse, and the scenes with everybody she was in were good. And I was watching a bunch of scenes online with her. I was going, wow, she just, the shoulder pads, the stance, she was a tough girl. And I say girl being funny, she was a tough woman, tough chick who, you know, didn't take fools lightly. Uh, she was a Colby woman. And I just... There's so much I could have done with her. I know there's some backstage stuff that happened. Of course, there are always backstage stuff that happens when he shows. But I really wanted to celebrate her because she was she was a matriarch of the of a family, um, of kind of this kind of of the show. Um, but Sable, of course, which I'm going to do a whole other show on Sable separately. She's a character. Somebody beats him just, I mean, played the character. Talk about character and actor coming together. It was just so perfect. And, they, and I see why they brought Sable on to Dynasty. I was watching uh, season nine, some episodes there where her and Alexis, the cousins, they were cousins, uh, getting into it. Um, and just going back and forth, those British accents were just like, made it even more highbrow. Uh, I, 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 just, I, think, I think Stephanie Beecham, who played Sable, just made everybody seem better, in my opinion. Um, but the Colby's just, you know, it, it died, it died a, an early death. It just, it just like, it was just a season and a half or so. That's it. But what if we kept going? I wonder if Constance, I mean, I would love to have seen more stuff with her uh, while she was in good health and could do it. Um, yeah. Somebody said to me the other day, they're like, wouldn't be interesting if 
She went to Falcon Crest and Hernandez and Channing had had interactions. Well, I think she would have fit perfectly on Falcon Crest. I mean, she's I mean, she's old world, she's regal. Don Crest was all about that. But you know, Dynasty was all about luxury, all the furs and all the, you know, all the opulence. And the, I mean, every time um Barbara Center opened the door to a scene, I mean, her dress just moved perfectly and it's long and flowy. Her hair is always perfectly coiffed. Um I, I I just I miss I look at I'm, when I was watching season looking at everything I'm like I just I miss this sometimes I mean some shows are trying to bring it back but the originals will always be the originals so that's my thing what do you think about, what do you think about costumes Kobe do you think that she was used well do you think she could have been used better um, do you guys always tell me what you think and I totally appreciate that so I'm like continue telling me telling me um, if, any, if you have any facts that I don't know about let me know some facts that I know about if you have a scene of hers you like let me know about that also. This is the Dynasty 2, the Colby's After Show. Thanks to all the Facebook groups. Let me post it there. Uh, thanks to everybody who watches or listens to the show. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'll see you next time with another episode. I'm James Lott Jr.